Welcome to Module Monday. Module Monday is a video series where I show off a cool PowerShell module every Monday. This Monday, we're looking at Snake. Snake is a PowerShell wrapper around Python 4.net, which allows you to invoke PowerShell from Python. So Python.net is a very popular um, library that actually goes both ways. It allows you to call .NET code from Python, but it also allows you to um, embed Python in .NET. So uh, Snake actually takes advantage of the embedding of Python in .NET so that we can better or more tightly integrate with Python uh, with PowerShell. So I'm gonna show off some examples of why that's cool. Um, and this is a little different than actually just starting up uh, the Python process. So this might not seem all that amazing, but you can actually use the use Python command um, and then call invoke Python uh, to execute um, some Python code. So you can see that actually returns a string. Um, well, it actually prints out a string of hi uh, to um, this PowerShell process. So that actually did not start up Python itself, but it's actually using the Python runtime um, inside the PowerShell process. Um, here's an example of actually returning um, something from Python. So this, instead of printing it, is actually uh, returning the string hello um, from Python um, back to PowerShell. And you can see, uh, based on some of the encoding problems here, that uh, it has actually returned that string. And what we can actually do is if uh, we store that in a variable here, you'll see that now I have that string variable returned. So again, that didn't execute the Python process. It actually just used this embedded version of Python. Um, in addition to being able to uh, call arbitrary Python scripts like that, um, what you can also do is you can uh, interact with, um, this is actually a Python package, uh, you can actually interact with uh, Python pips, which is the package manager for Python, similar to the PowerShell gallery and install module. Uh, so we're going to install the Python package uh, mistune. So Mistune is a um, markdown parser for Python. Um, and you can actually use those Python packages using Snake by uh, doing something like this. So we call use Python, um, and then we import the Python package, and we're storing that into just a regular PowerShell variable. Uh, and then we're going to call um, np.markdown, which is one of the uh, methods that's actually available inside this Python package, to uh, parse this markdown and return it as a string. So if I execute that, you're going to see that uh, I have this parsed markdown. So I could actually go ahead and uh, do some other kind of markdown thing. And it returns the HTML for me uh, from this Python package. So in this way, you can actually interact with Python packages directly in PowerShell and get um, rich objects back from Python itself. Um, but kind of taking it to the ultimate level here is that you can actually pass objects to Python. So for example, if we had a class similar to this one, uh, that's just a person that has a first name and a last name, and then we define that in PowerShell itself. What we can actually do is we can use the set Python variable commandlet from Snake to actually set that variable into Python um, from PowerShell. So I call use Python. Uh, I'm creating a new Python scope, and then inside that scope, I'm actually going to define uh, this person uh, variable here, and I'm going to set my name in there, and then I'm going to call set Python variable to actually populate that variable inside the Python scope. Um, that variable is going to be named person, and then uh, the value is actually going to be the PowerShell object that I have created uh, inside PowerShell, and then we're going to invoke this Python script um, to call person.firstName, um, and then pretty much uh, concatenate the strings together with the last name, and then return the type of string. So you can see when I execute that, um, it actually went out and invoked Python. You can kind of tell by the uh, encoding issue that I'm having here. But um, it took my person object, set it as a variable inside Python, called some Python code to actually return that variable um, here. So um, these are kind of the benefits of Python.net and Snake. It allows you to pretty much integrate tightly with uh, Python uh, rather than just calling it as a separate process. You actually have the ability to kind of get um, into the Python um, run space directly from uh, your PowerShell scripts here. Um, there are some limitations. Uh, right now, uh, Python uh, 4.NET does not support um, .NET standard. But as you can tell in this demo, I've actually been using PS, 
or PowerShell version 7.0.3. So although they do not support uh, .NET standard, um, uh, Snake has actually compiled versions that are .NET standard that allow you to load them um, into uh, PowerShell itself here. Um, additionally, uh, it does not support anything above Python 3.7. So Currently, the, uh, the highest supported version of Python is 3.7. Um, there are some discussions on the python.net uh, GitHub page here for supporting 3.8, and uh, I think 3.9 is out as well. Um, but right now, uh, Snake just supports uh, 3.7. So in this video, we went over how to use Snake to actually integrate directly with Python from PowerShell. Uh, definitely check it out. Um, and if you like videos like this, uh, definitely subscribe to my channel.